Okay, uh, here's a little bit of circuit behavior that I don't quite understand. I am... Uh, I know it looks like a mess. This is the voltage inverter portion. This is the 555 timer clock. This is the main motherboard. Here are the IRF PG50 MOSFETs. This is a Hickok moving coil, a milliameter. Very sensitive. Right now it's indicating 42 milliamps. We're on the top, the highest range, 42 milliamps. We're driving the voltage inverter portion with um, about 12 volts input and it's drawing 42 milliamps into the voltage inverter which is then powering the timer which is then producing the negative going gate drive pulses that's the, uh, the, that's the zero reference level right along there so the pulse is going uh, let's see we're at uh, we're at 2 volts per division on that channel. So we're going 2, 3 and a half, 4, and we're hitting that voltage floor. Right? And then this is the common drain trace oscillations as usual there. We're at 50 volts per division, so there's the zero reference level. So we're at just below 50 volts, and that's what we've got here. So we're showing about 70 milliamps on the inline current meter. This is the battery voltage, okay? And as I said, I'm running the voltage inverter off of the uh, Elenco regulated power supply there at 12 volts. So now let's see what happens when we uh, unhook that inverter from the Elenco power supply and run it off of the, uh, the most negative battery in the stack, okay? So let's see if I can do this without dropping things. Um, I'm just going to do it. Okay, so there we unhook the negative lead from the Allen Co. This is the negative lead to the inverter. There are, traces are gone. We're still showing the on a common drain trace, since the MOSFETs are off, we're still at 50 volts, which is the battery voltage, right? Because when the MOSFETs are off, the common drain trace voltage is high. Okay. Uh, okay. So now let's take the um, the ground input to the inverter circuit and hook it to the negative rail of the main circuit. This puts it in connection. The green wire goes to the negative battery lead. All right. So we'll just hook that right there. Still no oscillations because we haven't made the circuit yet, right? And then we'll take the positive lead and plug it from the Elenco. Uh, get an alligator clip on the end of it and take it over here and we'll attach it to the positive side of the most negative battery in the stack. And I'm going to clip it over here to this end of the jumper just for safety purposes, okay. All right, so we clip that in there, and I've made no other changes to the circuit. So now, um, now the inverter is powered by the most negative battery in the stack, and, uh, but, look, okay, so the Hickok is now showing about 62 milliamps whereas before it was showing 42. And here's the big difference over here. We've got uh, 200 milliamps shown on the current meter. And in this mode, the load uh, does seem to be increasing in temperature, I think. Okay. And, but look at what's happened to the oscillations. Of course, we've lost the trigger. So let me see if I can get the trigger back. There we go. Okay, now notice the difference. The we're definitely pulsing because we have the same pulsation, right? Boom, boom, boom. But if you look at the uh, trigger there, if you look at the gate drive signal, it doesn't go back up to zero volts. It's 
even at the off portions of the gate drive signal, it stays down there at the uh, three, three volt or four volt floor. Remember before when I had it powered off of the regulated power supply, it would go up there, back to the zero volt level, which is what we expected. So I, I, I don't, I don't really understand this difference. Uh, and I hope that somebody who does understand electronics a little bit better than I do could possibly explain to me what's going on. Okay, so there's, there's that 60, 62 milliamps on the Hickok, right? 20 milliamps on the, in, or 200 milliamps on the inline meter. And oscillations where the, uh, oscillations just fine. Pulsations where the drain trace, or rather the, um, gate drive trace does not go back up to zero like we expected it to. Okay, so let me just uh, do what I always do, which is go back. So we'll unhook the power supply to the inverter, uh, and then we'll hook, put put that back on the Elenco regulated supply. <coughs> excuse me, Elenco regulated supply, and we'll take this off of the battery negative and <coughs> here's the tricky part sorry I'm gonna hold this under my chin again okay so now once again we're running off of the Ellen Co and there's there's the common drain oscillations there's the oscillate the pulsation you can see that it goes up to zero now and we're back to 60 to 70 milliamps there, and uh, 42 milliamps on the hiccup. Okay. I hope somebody can explain this to me. Somebody who knows electronics and oscilloscopes, I hope that they can explain it to me. Thank you for watching.